The previous video was just an introduction on what Next.js is and how it works. And in this video, I will show you what we are going to build in the upcoming videos. So we are going to build a headless WordPress site with Next.js as our frontend. And this is how the final result looks like. Currently, we are on the home page. It's an imaginary travel blog named Cool Nomad. The home page shows a tagline along with a button leading to the blog page overlaid on top of a background image. And at the top, we have the site header. On the left side, we have the logo image linking to the home page itself. Then on the right side, we have the navigation linking to the blog, about and contact pages. The navigation works like a single page application. Page transitions happen without reloading the browser tab. Here is how the blog index page looks like. At the top, we have a hero section with a background image. The title and the tagline are displayed on top of that. A list of the most recent five posts are displayed below that. At the bottom, there is a load more button to fetch more posts from the WordPress backend. Clicking on it will load the next five posts. Once all posts are loaded, the button becomes inactive and says no more posts to load. Also notice that this is different from the normal page based pagination. The URL doesn't change. Instead, we are using cursor based pagination. Cursor based pagination uses a cursor to fetch the posts instead of the traditional limit and offset based queries. The advantage is that it won't affect performance even if you have thousands of posts. Infinite scrolling also uses the same technique. Speaking of postcards, the featured image is aligned towards the left side. While the title, published date, post excerpt and the category appears on the right side. Clicking on the title takes us to the single post page where we can read that post. The hero section displays the post title, metadata, that is the other name and the modified date followed by the excerpt. The featured image appears in the background which is also fetched from the WordPress backend. The main section shows the post content. At the bottom we have a simple site footer as well showing the copyright notice. So that's all about the blog section. Then we have pages. For instance, the about page shows the title and the content of the page. Then comes the contact page. It displays an HTML form where users can enter their name, email and the message they want to send. For instance, let me try to submit it. Name Abhinav, email test at example.com and some test message. Click the submit button and you can see a reply saying the form submitted successfully. However, if we try to submit it without filling one of these fields, then we will get an error message. So we have some basic validation as well in place. As I have already said, we are using WordPress as our backend API. Let's take a look at that. The posts and pages data are being fetched from this backend but we are not using the built-in WordPress REST API. Instead, I have enabled GraphQL using the WP GraphQL plugin. This plugin enables the GraphQL API in WordPress. Also, the plugin comes with a feature called Graph IQL ID where we can compose GraphQL queries. In later videos, I will show you how you can use this interface to generate query strings. Just to give you an example, suppose I want to fetch a list of posts. For that, click here under the post section, then select nodes. Suppose I want to fetch the date, excerpt and post title. Check those boxes. As I am checking those fields on the left side, you can see the equivalent query on the right side. Now click the go button, which runs the query internally. And we got the result on the far right pane. So this is the API we are going to use. Since it's headless, we won't be using the default WordPress frontend. It's currently active. That's why we can view it now. If we want, we can disable it later. Okay, now that you have an idea of what we are going to build, see you in the next video in which we will set up the routes.